we'll test the standard propeller and then uh, we've got a nice performance base to compare any modifications perhaps some new propellers fairing around the shaft it should be a nice project compared to my homemade contraptions this is absolutely dead quiet bit of vibration nice thing about these miracles I suppose it's true of all hard chine boats but you can get fairly decent steering by simply leaning the boat leaning to the right will give you a left and leaning to the left will turn it to right beautiful quiet morning the sun is still not very high but at least we have slack tide no wind so our speed measurements should be fairly decent that's speed setting one one and a half knots drawing about 100 watts so seven and a half amp at 13.3 volt kick it up to the second notch on the throttle 123 watt that's 9.3 amps at 13.2 volts, 2.2 knots. That's now at the third notch, 167 watt, 12.8 amp at 13 volts, 2.6 knots. Okay, we're up to the fourth notch call that 198 watt 15.4 amp at 12.8 volt speed is up to 3.1 knots now there's normally quite a kick when you go to the fifth notch on the throttle Three hundred and sixty one watt, twenty nine point three amp at twelve point three volts, four point two knots. These are 50 watt panels, but with the sun so low, we're obviously not getting that power. They've put out maximum power at 18 volts, according to the specs. I found that it's closer to 16 volts if you're not quite getting full sun. And since my battery is just over 13 volts, I've just connected it directly. No need for an extra charge controller, as long as I keep an eye on the voltage when the battery is full. The voltage will top 14.4 and uh, switch off it's got built-in charge circuitry and the panels will go back to 21 volts open circuit all three panels wired in parallel they then feed directly to the two lithium ion phosphate batteries rated at 280 watt hour each so that's, that's at 22 amp hour at 13 volts it gives me a nice 560 watt hour. Out of curiosity, I'm going to disconnect the battery with the motor running. Okay, 68 watt, 69 watt, six amps, and it's pulling the voltage down to 11 volts. So clearly an MPPT or a buck converter would be very beneficial in this situation. 
Well, we've been going for an hour now. The total energy consumed is 220 watt hour, and that is mostly switching between the fourth and fifth setting on the throttle. Going upwind now with the current behind us, and I must say, steering takes a lot more effort. It doesn't steer by leaning anymore. The bow gets thrown around by the wind quite a bit. But it does feel very fast. Just one final experiment before I pack up. I have now disconnected the motor and I've connected the panels to the opposite side of the power meter. And it is now charging. The battery is showing 83 watts, so that's 13.4 volts, 6.2 amps. So all that is now flowing from the panels into the battery. <laughs>